So you know how everybody's wondering, is it Laurel or is it Yanny? Well, when I hear it, all I hear is this. Do something important with your life, moron. I'm pretty sure that's what's being said anyway. Okay, now look, I'm warning you ahead of time that there will be spoilers to Infinity War. There is just no way around it. You ready? You sure? Okay, well, strap in, kids, because we're going to talk about Star-Lord. Now, before we get too deep into it... Hey! Phrasing! I gotta tell you that I'm a fan of the character. I really am. Um, he's He's got this devil may care attitude, and it really struck a chord with me. And, and I grew to love the lovable idiot. And when I say that I'm a fan of Peter Quill, I mean I'm a fan of Peter Quill. I'm... That guy. Most people don't realize that Star-Lord didn't debut in the 90s after Annihilation. Uh, he was an older character. And uh, I was very unhappy with the film not using him uh, uh, as, as uh, the son of Jashano Spartax. Because that's just the way it is. And another thing I'd like to point out is that I'm a horribly offensive stereotype. So I love the character. But not enough to turn a blind eye to the fact that old Peter Quill made a faux pas so big that half the universe is now able to be stored in two sturdy dustbins. He screwed up. Our heroes had Thanos right where they want him, the gauntlet almost off of his hand. And then he goes, flies into a rage because of the death of Gamora. I mean, he pulled a Buckner. Bigger than, well, Bill Buckner. I mean, we have to come to terms with the fact that Star-Lord was the real villain of Infinity War. And we also have to come to terms that somebody put coffee in my coffee cup. And my coffee cup isn't sitting there anymore. I may be losing my mind. <laughs>